Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, solve the sense of equations by using elimination. Now, one thing I look at elimination, you know, when we're doing elimination, we simply just want to uh, make sure our variables have the same coefficients, either both positive, both negative, or one positive, one negative, because we're, then we're going to either add or subtract them. But we've got to make sure that the variables are um, uh, in the same columns with each other, right? They're aligned. And you can see here. Um, I have v over t and then t over v. So that's not going to work. And it might be obvious in saying, oh, these, got, these aren't going to have the same coefficients. Um, you know, but let's align them first. So by aligning them, what I have is 4t plus 10v equals 13, negative 4t minus 7v equals 11. Ooh, that looks much nicer, right? Because now I don't have to multiply by any multipliers. I can simply add these two equations, and I'll eliminate the t variable because 4 minus 4 is 0. 0 times t is just going to be 0. And then 10t minus 7v is 3v equals 24. Now to solve, I plug in divide by 3, divide by 3, v equals um, 8. Now, to solve for t, all I simply need to do is take this and add it into one of my equations. So um, I can pick any equation I want to. I will pick the second equation. So it says negative 4t minus 7v equals 11. Um, let's put 8 in for uh, v. So negative 4t minus 7 times 8 equals 11. So I got add 56, add 56, add 56. So negative 4t equals 67, which I do not believe 67 is going to go in there. Um, it does not. So let's divide by negative 4, divide by negative 4. t is going to equal, I believe, um, 16 and 3 quarters, or a negative 16.75. Um, let me just go ahead and double check that because that'd be 16 and 3 quarters. So 67 divided by, yep, very good. All right, so there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you solve the system using elimination. Thanks.